This is Cuts from the Streets. My name is Nathaniel. What's your name? Luke Stefan. Nice to meet you. All right, the first question we're going to ask you is, um, what does Thanksgiving mean to you? Um, well, Thanksgiving is just basically like the families get together. Um, so, like my wife is preparing what she's going to prepare Thursday now. She's setting up all the pans to eat and everything else like that because I think she has some family coming. Okay, what's y'all plan on eating? The turkey, the, yeah, the I mean, cranberry whatever, sauce? Whatever, whatever she's cooking. Oh, how about that stuffing? I mean, whatever the she mac cooks, and cheese? She's you down for it all, right? Whatever she cooks. Okay. You celebrate Thanksgiving? Right for it. Okay. What does that mean to you? Thanksgiving. Well, to me, Thanksgiving means um, the family comes together mm -hmm. as one, share food, politic around the table, square it all around, and um, you become one as a family. That's all right. What I think. Okay, okay, okay. Alina Mello. Alina, Alina Mello. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're here with Alina Mello, and we're going to ask her some questions concerning the Thanksgiving holiday. Correct. So Thanksgiving is coming up uh, this coming Thursday. Yeah. Correct, Alina. I, and we talked a little bit uh, before the camera started rolling, and you told me you you don't plan on um, celebrating it. Why? Well, before I celebrate when my children was uh, little, mm -hmm. I celebrate Thanksgiving, but after. I've started to do that and just do something at home for my husband and me and we keep it at home and sometimes we visit some friends and share with somebody and that's it. Okay. Was there ever a time um, in your life that you did celebrate Thanksgiving? Before? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving before because I'm from Santo Domingo and in my country nobody celebrates Thanksgiving. Well, now as so many people immigrate to my country, they do it, but mm. before they don't. So with the influx of people from other places, the people in Santo Domingo are now celebrating Thanksgiving? Yeah, before, oh. but now they do. You celebrate Thanksgiving? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, what are you going to be having for things? What are you, what are you eating? What's going to be on that, on that table? Turkey, stuffing, um, sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes. No, no, no potato salad, no macaroni and cheese? No, no, no. Oh, hey, my name is Roy, and you? I'm Brandon. Brandon, how are you doing? I'm good. All right, all right. We know that Thanksgiving is around the corner, right? Yeah. What do you think about Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is, uh, well, I guess what people... To you. To me personally, I'm not yes. a big fan of Thanksgiving. Okay. Because of the background that it has, it's pretty much we're forcing it upon the natives as opposed to that because they didn't really celebrate and it's like a lot more going into it. But in uh, in my household, it was taught mostly as just giving thanks, but with no real background into it. It's pretty much you you're thanking the family all together. You're not really going. You don't think of the past when you're doing it with them. All right, Mark. Um, you know Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Mm -hmm. A couple days left. You know, what are your thoughts on Thanksgiving? What does it mean to you? Don't really mean nothing to me because to me is I don't know, man. It's, it doesn't really mean nothing to me, man. It means something like as far as my family, or mother and father, uh -huh. family. But as what it represents, it doesn't. It, it, I don't like it. I don't so, like uh, it. so your family has always ce always celebrated Thanksgiving growing up. Yeah, they always celebrate. Okay, it, but once you start getting to know the true meaning, what happened and stuff like that, it's like, nah. What's your name, brother? Stevenson. Stevenson. Yeah. All right, Stevenson. So, Thanksgiving holiday is coming up soon, right? You excited about it? If I? Are you excited about Thanksgiving? No, not really. <laughs> not really. Yeah, so I mean, but you know, everybody has to celebrate something at some time. So, yeah. yeah. So Thanksgiving coming up, so the family get together and they celebrate thing, but not necessarily like excited about it, really. Okay. So Thanksgiving, gonna be celebrating? 
personally celebrate Thanksgiving. I have reasons to be thankful, but I don't personally. That, that's somebody else's holiday, so I don't know. That's just my beliefs. Uh, what do you know about it? What do I know about Thanksgiving? Yeah. That made you come to that thought that I don't want to celebrate it. It's not for me. It's just not for me. It's not something that, you know, my family celebrates Thanksgiving, and I never knew the reason. So, I mean, to each his own. That's just how I feel. I mean, originally growing up, I was taught that Thanksgiving was about, you know, family. It's a traditional thing, something that was implemented back when we were, um, when the country was first founded by who they said was Christopher Columbus. But... Um, yeah, growing up, I was told it was just a traditional thing that the pilgrims and the Indians did. All right, so what what do you think um, Thanksgiving is about? I mean, now, I mean, after, you know, after going through things and seeing how the world works, I mean, I feel like I don't really celebrate it the same way other people celebrate it. I do like it because that's when family, my family does come together and we, you know, get to see each other. But I, I think it's more so about family, more than anything, just being around family and your loved ones. What do you think about the past, the history of Thanksgiving? Well, I know of history. I know. Like, do you know the history yeah. of Thanksgiving? Yeah. Would you tell me, tell us a little bit the history about Thanksgiving? <laughs> It's okay. No, not good. It's okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So uh, we all know the history about Thanksgiving. Now the very last question. Are you ready? Okay, I'm a Native American. What make you think? How do you feel that you're gonna do with Thanksgiving? If you see me. I want to say thanks to you. Thanks to me? Yeah. All right, thank you, thank you very much. Do you understand the history of Thanksgiving on how it began, its origins? Um, I've heard a story, I don't know if the story is particularly true, what they teach you in school about Thanksgiving, which is basically with the pilgrims and the Indians, so I'm sure there's a, there's a stronger and a better meaning than what they taught us when we were little kids. What did they teach us in history? What did they teach us in school that Thanksgiving meant? What, what, what's some things that you, were, that you were taught? Uh, the pilgrims and the Indians got together and gave thanks on that day, because I guess the pilgrims was trying to take the land or something else to that matter. So that's what that's what I was taught Thanksgiving was in school. So was that was that usually how it was designed to become? What was the history behind it? That <laughs> that was probably the books that they taught us in school probably. I don't know. Okay. But me myself I don't know. But uh, when I was younger, yes I did go to school, yes they taught us that in in the education system. But to me, as I grew up It was more than that because I'm from the Caribbean. Okay. So okay. It's, it's different than how, how people portray everything. Every culture is different. Okay. All right. Do you know the meaning behind Thanksgiving? Why it was created and what does it actually uh, represent? Well, I think that's a culture for American people. And uh, Thanksgiving is beautiful. It's a nice time where all the people share one to other mm -hmm. and they help other people too. Everybody is nice because uh, that, that Thanksgiving uh, night, everybody have a food and you and your table and everybody share one to other. It's nice time, very beautiful time. All right. So you say you migrated to this country from Santo Domingo. Are you familiar with the history um, of the people that were originally in this land, the Native American Indians? Uh, not really. Not really. So Thanksgiving, the holiday, actually started the so-called white man that came over here before uh, and found the, in the Indians here, upon the actual murder and slaughter of the Indians, they actually gave thanks and had a feast oh, yeah. at the behest of that. Have you heard of something like that before? Uh, yeah. So that was the original Thanksgiving, to be, uh, to be honest. To, to celebrate something like that, do you think it's good or bad? Well, depends for the people. If you like to celebrate, it's good for you. If you don't like it, it's not good. If you were a Native American Indian, Do you think that would be good to celebrate that? Well, maybe. Yeah. Do you know the history of Thanksgiving? Yeah, um, it's a holiday that um, was originated by, it originally came from a, politicians would always create days of Thanksgiving and it originated from uh, George Washington deciding that he, he wanted to make one and 
then it just continued and continued until it became a federal holiday in the early 1900s. When did they say the first Thanksgiving was? What, what was that situation? The first as in the first official one or the first, like, first first? What it commemorates, pretty okay. much, yeah. That was uh, up in um, Massachusetts when the uh, Pilgrims settled. Right, right, right. Um, I'm actually Native American. Do you think I should uh, celebrate that holiday? Um, I'd say yes, because it's still, it's a point in history where things changed and it was a landmark change in how history progressed, particularly with the history of the continent. So even though it's not necessarily the brightest moment, it's still something that changed the course of history and it's still something that should be remembered for a reason. My father's from Lenape, out in New Jersey. He told me some crazy things. He said that it was a lot of lynching, that the same things that were done to the blacks was the same thing that was done to the Native Americans. So my history of what I was taught, passed down, was gruesome of what Thanksgiving was about. Do you think I should still celebrate it? It's, up, it's your decision, but sad, like, sadly, we can't turn around and take back our history and take back the past. We, just have to think about what happened and what we remember as a society and try and not let that stuff happen again. So you will not agree with what happened. It's actually the story of Thanksgiving, but you doing it for giving the thanks for whatever it is. Yeah. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. You say the, the true meaning, what actually happened. Can you tell me a little bit more about, about the where, Indians, where it uh, originated? And stuff that again? About the Indians getting killed, they're taking their land, and that's what they always been doing. They, and the same thing as Columbus Day, or oh, I found this land, but the Indians was there. Mm. So it's just like... That's interesting. So, so you're saying that basically the truth has, you know, we've been lied to about mm. what Thanksgiving has actually exactly. been about. Exactly. You know, they're doing it to us now. As what, black people, they do it to us. What do they say Thanksgiving is about? They say it's, it's, they say it's about family, togetherness, and how they, you know, the pilgrims found this land and stuff. They, they sugarcoat it. They took the land. They took stuff, and they take stuff from us now. Mm. They took the land. They took stuff, and they take stuff from us yeah. now. Mm. So it's just like... So there's, there's, there's no truth to it. There's no truth to it. And do you think that Thanksgiving means the same to every race of people? No. <laughs> for, for instance, let me give you an example. Do you think Thanksgiving means the same to, you, you mentioned the Native American Indians. Yeah. Would Thanksgiving mean the same to them as it would to Hell other no. people in this country? It's, it's where they got murdered at. <laughs> their family, their ancestors got murdered at. You know? Right. So, so, so basically, they would be celebrating their genocide if they were to exactly. celebrate. So we, we do things in this country like Black Lives Matter yeah. and things like that. Now, if there was a holiday that celebrated um, the so-called black man's departure from this earth. <laughs> Would we be in our right mind to celebrate something like that? You know, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for cursing hell, no. <laughs> so, so you couldn't get down celebrating something hell like that? No, man, because they always, the first thing they put about black people is that we're slaves, we came from this. You've never seen a movie say something big enough black people, the Moors, this, that, nothing. Mm. You don't see none of that. So, so they, don't, they don't talk about our rich they, culture. They, don't, they, don't talk about the, they talk about us coming off the slave boat, and this is this. They always try to put us down to make us seem like we're inferior to, to a lot of things. And that, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't fly with me, man. So now, do you really think uh, Thanksgiving is about family, or is it because they come for the food? I mean, to be honest, it depends on the family that you have. Some families, you know, do come together because it's Thanksgiving. Some families, depending on how you grow up or whatever, come together just because it's free food. So I think that's that goes based on the family that you that you're from or the family that you're in. Do you think that Thanksgiving is more about the family coming together or about the food? Well, that would the family game coming together. Yeah. That I will say, yeah, you know I mean, but that food including it, so everybody eat and enjoy itself, you know what I mean? But Thanksgiving is really a, is a family thing. You really check it at Thanksgiving, more or less the family comes together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because normally you find that the, 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 the family that be apart. Yeah. Only at Thanksgiving you find everybody really come together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, what does Thanksgiving mean? Do you know the, like, the origin of Thanksgiving? Yeah. No, not really, you know what I'm saying? I really see, well, study what Thanksgiving really is about, you know what I mean? But it's giving thanks for the things that, you know what I mean? 
come here giving thanks to God, you understand what I'm showing you? Yeah. So you ever heard a story about the pilgrims coming over to America and, you know, the Indians were here and then now they're not? Not once here, the Indians here. <laughs> yes, the Indians was here, the Indians are here. They was always here, you understand what I'm telling you? So what do you think happened to them? Well, who came over? The Europeans. <laughs> yeah. So, if the Europeans came over and the Indians who were here, do you, where, where are they now? Do you see them? Yeah. You see the Indians walking around now? No, because they isolated them. Yeah, so I isolated that. that yeah, so much from now you, you, you take a group of people and you put them in a, in a thing, come like it. They've been isolated. Yeah. You know what I'm Yeah. So, um, is it safe to say that the Europeans came and slaughtered a lot of yes. Indians? Yes, destruction. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know any, any history about it? Like how it came about? Not really. I, I can't. My memory is like not too good because I've had six babies. I've been through a lot of sickness, so my memory is not too good. But I know that it has something to do with the pilgrims, and I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> Would you want to know more about it? I do. Okay. So, like you said, with the pilgrims, uh, they came, you know, Christopher Columbus, they came over here in 1492. The native Indians, they had this whole continent to themselves. Then the pilgrims, they, uh, they didn't know how to survive. They didn't know how to eat, how to, um, how to get the crops out the land. Native Indians taught them. Uh, they were an overabundantly kind to the pilgrims and as you know when someone wants to take over land they send spies or they send information gatherers so the pilgrims they, they gather the information they found out how to, how to pillage the land and so on and so forth and um, when they saw their opportunity they started to the, the kill the native Indians. Let me ask you what do you think about the feast like why do we have a, a giant table of, of food? That's what I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know. You're going to be shocked at this one. A lot of the, the pilgrims, when they went to each Native Indian village and they were killing them, they would um, gather up all their food. It, it's said, it's documented that like a plate of food would feed five members of a family. So when they uh, took all the food, they set a giant, a giant feast for themselves. And they did it in every single village. And they did it so much, they made it a holiday, they would do it every day, to where they narrowed it down to one day, they would celebrate it, rededicate it. Thanksgiving is a celebration yeah. <laughs> for the pilgrims who stole the land that didn't belong to them yeah. in the first place. That's right. That is crazy. That's right. A lot of, I think it was, I believe it was George Washington or Abraham Lincoln, they narrowed it down to one day out of the year that they would rededicate their actions. And what they were thankful for was taking the land. I want to say thanks to you. Thanks to me? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. They gave thanks to their God or their twisted version of God. So they taught us that Thanksgiving was basically a big kumbaya and a big dinner commemorating um, the Indians joining hands with the pilgrims. That's what we learned in history, according to school. So we're going to go into what the Bible says about it and the real origins of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is like a war of victory. It's like a it's like a um, how do you call it? like a dinner, like a war a war of victory of the conquerors, the, the conquering pilgrims who are Caucasians, the Bible calls them Edomites. There's, that's when the Caucasians conquered the Native Americans. According to the Bible, they are the tribe of Gad in the Bible. The Native Americans are the tribe of Gad, are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So we're going to read how God feels about these holidays. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men. Is Thanksgiving a law given by God, or is Thanksgiving a tradition given by men? Tradition given by men. All right, so start from the top. What does it say about traditions of men? Beware, Beware. lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men 
So God said, this is a, a vain, this is vain deceit. He's saying, watch out. Don't let anybody fool you through this. Cause this is all foolery. It's witchcraft, it's mind games. They have me and you. Where are you from by the way? What's your nationality? Haitian. Haitian. So the same nationality of people that conquered the, the, the Native Americans, it's the same. They could have, right. So they came over to America, what they did, they succeeded in that, right? So the same thing, the same people that we're eating Thanksgiving to, they're all conquerors. We're having a dinner celebrating our demise. How does that make you feel knowing that now? Not too good. Not too good. That's, that's, that's great. Give me um, Jim, uh, Amos 521. I want to get some more. Because even on other holidays, like um say easter people usually have an easter dinner right christmas people have a christmas dinner. they have their christmas ham so let's see how god feels about these feast days that we celebrate as a people amos 521 i hate i despise your feast days so god's saying i hate i hate and i despise what does he despise your feast days right. and i will not smell in your solemn assemblies Right, so God hates our feast days. Now, being that you said you're, you're Haitian, right? The Bible, according to the Bible, you're from the tribe of Levi, from the 12 tribes of Israel. You were a real Jew. God gave us laws to follow, including holidays and feast days that could be found in the book of Leviticus chapter 23. Understand? So the scripture says, who could bring a clean thing out of an unclean thing? So all our lives, we were, what we taught, we taught that the pilgrims came over here, and the Native Americans that were here already, they came together and that bring forth Thanksgiving. Okay. What the scripture says, who can bring un a clean thing out of an unclean thing? The scripture, God saying not one. Meaning, you can't take um, a, a history that was riddled with murder, rape, and killing, and now celebrate it as good. Understand? Okay. So that's, that's, that's the thing with our people because it's the Native Americans, so-called Hispanic people, this, there are people also. Okay. Understand? So you saying that this family that, that, that comes out of this, right? Like the gathering of the family, is it love and peace, right? That's why he's trying to portray it. Right? Okay. So that is this one of the American holidays that was taught to you? Right Amos chapter 5 verse 21. Mm -hmm. I hate. I despise your feast days. So God, you know what God's saying? He said he hates and despises our feast days. So what do we learn on this side? Like Christmas, also. You think you heard Christ was born on the 25th. Right, God said he despised those things. Yeah, because the first day nobody knew when. Mm -hmm. so, he, you know, so how about the same thing with Thanksgiving? Because right, how you were taught that we were brought together for peace. That's but what they want us to see. Yeah. But there was murder at that time. God said he hates and despises our feast day. And read. And I will not smell in your solemn assembly. So it means that he won't be happy. When we come together on those days, he's not going to be, he, he won't be there. So we think that this is a good thing, godly thing that's happening. God said he's not going to be there. Understand? Listen to this. Jeremiah chapter 22 verse 13. You listening? Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness. The Bible says woe unto him. What does woe mean? Woe means um, I feel sorry or bad things. That's that's what they <laughs> Woe in the Bible means destruction. destruction death yeah, bad unto him mm -hmm. that what? Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness. By unrighteousness. So was it righteous when they came here and they build lands on, on slaves, even blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, they always in slavery. Was it righteous that they came, when the pilgrims came here, they built a whole nation that we built actually, and they put it on the bones of the Native Americans. They didn't ask for it. They weren't here before we were. Is it right? So the Bible's telling you, whoa, unto Keep reading. Verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, Yet were they drawn swords. So he was persuasive and he basically tricked them because he knew what he wanted to do when he first got here, but he talked to them and made them think that he wanted one thing when he really wanted to take everything. Exactly. Yeah. That was the beginning of Thanksgiving. Giving thanks that what? That they conquered the native Indians to get this land. Right. I understand what you're saying, but I, like I said, I feel like not everyone thinks that way. Like, 
you can get caught up in the middle of it by just like I understand because the Bible says one thing, but some people don't look at it that way as like, oh, I'm honoring a tradition in which Christopher Columbus came and done this to the native people of this country. I feel like a lot of people do it, like I said, just because it's a way to embrace your family members and, and just be around them on the holidays. But I don't, you know, I don't think that it's necessarily like nowadays. I feel like maybe in the 80s and the 90s, it was more symbolic and people were all oh, Christopher Columbus, blah, blah, blah. But nowadays, like it's, you know, especially with my family, like we're, we're way more educated than our our fathers, our mothers, our grandfathers in terms of like, we don't have to follow that exact tradition, but around the day, you know, we do get together. It's not that the turkey, we're not using the turkey and, and all the fixings around it to symbolize, you know, but we do get together. But I understand what you're saying too, though, based on what it says in the Bible. So, my bad. So basically like you make it into your own holiday. Exactly, like you right. take something that was made, you take something that was made, um, in such a negative way, shape, or form, or whatever, and you turn it into yours. Just like when it comes to, not that it's okay, just like when it comes to the word, using the word nigga, like a lot of people use that word and I understand, like I don't use it, but people took it and made it into something that they wanted to make it into as opposed to giving the power just to the people who originated the word, so. Well, can I just read one scripture for yeah. you based off of everything that you were saying? Yeah. This is, um, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 34, verse 4. Of an unclean thing, what can be cleansed? And from that thing which is false, what truth can come? Unclean, meaning like uh, the turkey or the something? Well, what the, what the Bible's saying here is because based on the history of Thanksgiving and its oh. origins, it's originally an unclean thing. So right. out of that unclean thing, a lot, like you said, a lot of people take the holiday because that's what my family used to do right. my family still does I don't partake yeah, in it anymore yeah. but they say well you know we're coming together to give thanks for all the blessings that we have right. thanking God for our children right. good health our jobs our houses things like that but in actuality the day itself was based on rape right. robbery yeah. murder things like that so it says of an unclean thing Thanksgiving mm -hmm. what can be cleansed and from that thing which is false because Everything that America pushes it to be today is all false. Right. They they try and take you away from what it actually stood for. Right. All right. Let's see what the Bible says about something that's actually a bad thing, and then we try to make it a good thing. Book of Job 14, verse 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? So the Bible says, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean thing? The slaughter of the Native American Indians was a so-called bad thing. So how now can they make Thanksgiving actually a good thing? Where we celebrate, you know, for family, for getting together. They try to make it good, but it was actually the origins of it was bad. What are your thoughts behind that? Well, everything is changing. Everything is changing. The people are changing too. Mm -hmm. And the culture too. So I think that before, uh, if the people think that uh, um, Thanksgiving was bad because the Indian, mm -hmm. so somebody changed the idea for good idea. So now I think it's good that people celebrate if they want. They are killing the, the Native American. Mm -hmm. They're forcing, they took the land. Uh, can we do it, given the tax on the Thanksgiving? What do you think? I feel like we shouldn't be doing it under the fact, if we know the history of it, I feel like we should change it to something else completely in honor of the natives who lost their land. But. All right, I'm going to read you something and mm -hmm. let's see what God says. Can we do it or not? Uh, the book of Job, chapter 14, verse 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Read it again. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. So God says, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? What God says. So therefore we can't. We just can't. It's, it shouldn't be. Yes. All right, so we know the history of Thanksgiving is the slaughter of the Native American Indians. So it started out as a, a pretty bad thing, and they tried to make it into yeah. a good thing, per yeah. se. You know, you, you believe in the Bible? Yeah, I believe in the Bible. I believe in the Bible, but I just, I just, I believe in God, to tell you the truth. You know? All right, um, if I can show you a couple of scriptures in the Bible, you open to listen to a couple of scriptures in the Bible? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Thanksgiving, like I said, was started out as a bad thing. Yeah. You know, now they're trying to change it into something that means good. Family, togetherness, you know, give you the day off of work, make it easy for you to celebrate. Yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> yeah, it's so, always a struggle. I'm going to read the scripture, see what you think about this. Job chapter 14 and 4. 
Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. So the scripture says, who can make something clean out of an unclean thing? So if it's, if it's always been something that's been crooked, you can't make it straight. You can't make it straight at all. No. So Thanksgiving will never be something straight. No. Let me get one more scripture for you about the things that we do here in this country that we've been taught. You, you, you mentioned that blacks came over here on slave ships, yeah. right? And um, who taught us about Thanksgiving? Who taught us about Christmas and these holidays? White people, white people, white right. people. Go that's, to school, that's what, they, that's what they drill in your head. Okay. So then when you get older and you start realizing stuff and reading up on stuff, it's just like, come on, man. And then just going through your neighbor, your mm -hmm. daily life as, a, as working and stuff, how people try to degrade you, try to make you feel lesser than what it is. Mm. Yo, all my life I had to work two times harder than a person that's working less. You know what I'm saying? That's interesting. Training, training guys, training guys that basically don't know shit, but they're white but they'll get that promotion, but you're still sitting here. You, and, they, and they'll rise above, above you, yeah, huh? rise above All you. right, let, let me see what God says about these so-called traditions that we've learned here in this country. All right, uh, give me Colossians 2, verse 8. Let's talk about these traditions, because we learn these things here in, yeah. in our captivity, let's be honest. Yeah, and life, cha life teaches you that this is, that this is some slave shit. <laughs> life teaches you. you know? Interesting choice of words. Interesting life choice of teaches words. you. Life teaches you the truth. But you definitely see. truth. All right, we're going to get the scripture. We'll see what this what this says. This is what God says about the things that we've learned here in this country. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So it says, beware lest any man spoil you. What does it mean for somebody, a, a race of people to be spoiled? To be... I don't, the tree, I don't know, to be rotten, I don't know, yeah. Right. So let's read that again. My mom always said one thing, bad associations spoil useful habits. Uh, interesting. I'm going to finish this out. You're going to see it, it almost <laughs> says the same thing. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. So the Bible is telling us that we can be spoiled from the traditions of men. Yeah. These so-called traditions that they've put in place, the Thanksgivings, the Christmases, the Easters, yeah. the birthday celebrations, all these things are traditions of men, not necessarily after the Bible, because yeah. there's nowhere in the Bible that we can read about Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. And we know the, the history of Thanksgiving that it was actually a very unclean thing mm -hmm. that they tried to make clean. So we can actually be spoiled as a people for celebrating these things. Yeah. You're right, you're right. You're right. All right, so let me ask you something. So, it's going to happen in a couple of days. Your family, you said, you alluded to the fact that they celebrated. Yeah. What will you be doing come Thursday of this week? Chilling, chilling, chilling at my girlfriend's house. And we just, I don't know, eating. Will That's there be it. turkey involved? Nah, we don't eat turkey, man. I don't like turkey. <laughs> Cranberry sauce? Nah, B. Ham, ham? Curry chicken. Rice. <laughs> All, right. All right. So we got Mark here. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate your time. No All right. Cuss in the street, New York. You believe in the Bible? Yeah. yeah. You must believe in the Bible for it, you know what I'm saying? Because you must have above us who are we are in the face of yet here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, breathing and everything, you know what I'm saying? Did you know that in the Bible, it also talks about what the Europeans did? They came over and how they treated the Indians? Did you know that was in the Bible too? No, I didn't know. I didn't know. Let me read it for you. Let me get uh, Psalm 55 and 20. He hath put forth his hand against, such as be at peace with him. So he came, and the Indians who were at peace, he came, put his hands forth, slaughtered a lot of them, pushed them out into different parts of the land. He hath broken his covenant. Remember when they said, okay, you'll get this piece of land, we won't bother you, yeah. we'll stay over here, we'll do what we gotta do. Yeah. But then what happened? took over everything. <laughs> he broke he broke his promise. Yeah, yeah. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Meaning that's smooth talk. Yeah. We're gonna come over here, everything's gonna be okay. You know, we'll take care of you to stay over there. You know, I'm I'm Mr. White Man. I'm I'm all good. But then what happened? But war was in his heart. But he came with a different a different agenda. Because it's, it's the same thing with them, um, like in the Caribbean. They have 
talk about Crucifus Columbus, mm -hmm. come and discover Trinidad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Crucifus Columbus and his men come and slaughter, right? The, the, the Caribs and Iraq was in Trinidad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So don't feel it, in, it, it happened here alone. It happened in the Caribbean thing also. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere the white man go, it's destruction. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 11. But ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop. So they forsake the Lord. They throw up thanks for the Lord, but it's not really in his name. It's for whatever twisted version of, of God they had in their mind. And it says, what did it say? That prepare a table for that troop. So the troop that is speaking about is Andrew Jackson on the $20 bill. He, he slaughtered a lot of the Native Indians. They had the U.S. Cavalry Troop, and that's the troop that is making mention. They would go to, like I said, each village, slaughter them, take their food. So now the Bible's saying that they rededicate and prepare a table for that troop in memory of what that troop did. And the con this country, it doesn't give us the history of it. And we have to personally go out and read it ourselves. But like I said, they know a lot of us won't want to go and seek out the information that's not taught in the schools. So they, they get away with it. A lot of stuff is not taught in the schools anymore, but this is a good thing to know because we just, it's um, passed on through generations. And we don't even know why we, we celebrate in these holidays, for what reason. So people come up with their own beliefs of what they're celebrating it for. Mm -hmm. Because when I was celebrating it, I came up with my own beliefs. I got a reason to be thankful, so I'm celebrating Thanksgiving. They, they trick you with the name, Thanksgiving. <laughs> and no, it's just thanks to our God for you giving us the land by force. Well, that's really taking it, but you, know. they, you had no, no other reason, no other um, choice but to give us the land after we wiped out you know, all the Native Indians and there was a few left. They basically had a party. They would, they would even establish the the whole party in the middle of that village. Can you imagine all the Native Indians dead on the ground? And they're just like, all right, savages. we'll get up the savages. And then they call them savages. You, you know what Native Indian means? It says, it is a word, Indios, that means savage or slave. So they're saying that they're a native savage or a native slave. A lot of the nationalities the ethnic names for our race is, is actually a mockery of what they named us. Now, let me ask you, do you believe we're programmed by doing this, this custom, by doing it so long, them not telling us the real information, that we just do it, we get used to it? Mm -hmm. It's sort of like robotic, like it's just, like I said, even, like everything you do repetitively, without even thinking about it. Like, you have to question yourself, why do you do what you do? Like, even going to church, like different things. Why do you, do? you have to have a reason to do what you do. And that's sort of the reason why I didn't want to celebrate Thanksgiving, even Christmas. Why do we do these things? Now Christmas, that's a whole nother topic in itself. We'll, we'll get to that later down the line. But um, I want to ask, if you knew your true culture, your true identity heritage, like, for instance, we'd be too powerful. Say that again. We'd be too powerful. We would be too powerful. We don't know our culture because we were taken from our home. So we don't, we are, we don't know our history. If you don't know your history, you can't tell where you're going. So we're like, we walk around here lost. Like just living day to day, repetitively. But if we knew who we were, it's power in knowing who you are. I think that we are some of the most powerful beings on this earth. But because we don't know our culture, we don't know our history, we, we just don't know these things, we can't operate in our power. We have the power, we can't operate in it. Because we don't know we have it. We don't know what it is. Now, if there was a way to find, what do they call it, a, a breadcrumb trail, would you seek it out? Because a lot of our people, they have, we have access to all the information in the world by a touch of a button. Some people don't know where to 
to start, with where to start looking. In the book of Leviticus chapter 23, you have God's high holy days. You have the Sabbath day, you have Passover, you have uh, uh, Feast of Pentecost, you have Feast of Tabernacles, Hanukkah. All of these days God set up for us to keep because they all commemorate something special that God did for us. There was all deliverance out of, out of a rough situation or out of captivity and slavery. So these are the days that God wants us to keep in remembrance for his deliverance, for our deliverance out of slavery. Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High Christ Bless. This is Officer Gamliel, I'm with... Officer Ozias. So today we did Cuts from the Streets on Thanksgiving, interviewing our people, uh, getting their opinions on Thanksgiving, what it meant to them, and um, a lot of people really don't know much about Thanksgiving at all. So some people do, but some people, a lot of people say, uh, you know, we're doing it for the family and things like that. So what we did today is just get their opinions and also show them what, what God says about Thanksgiving and how it's wrong. All right, so we had some really good interviews today. All praise to the Most High. The word went out. God's word does not go out void, just like the scripture says. So all praises. Um, the people were edified. They learned about Thanksgiving. It's true history, the true history behind it. And, you know, hopefully they're repentive following that. And those we managed to teach do not um, celebrate it when it does come. All right? So with that, we say shalom. shalom. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.